This weekend, a young girl who was born without some of her intestines and spent most of her life in a hospital is receiving a little help from her 11-year-old cousin. KFTM's Haley Bull is getting an inside look at the thoughtful and inspiring creation. Among the countless projects inside Vider Middle School's fair, one brings with it a lot of thought and care that may just help countless children. Little kid sits right here and wraps the legs around it while the other parent pushes it. Caden Barber created this IV pole with a cushion. It's pretty sturdy. He calls the angel seat. She's been in the hospital her whole life. For a little angel in his own family, his cousin, 14-month-old Mackenzie. She's had two dozen surgeries after she was born without most of her intestines. Mackenzie has only spent 16 days at home. She is a cute little chunky baby and she's she can't talk or anything yet but she's full of life even though she's had all odds against her. This gift? Thank you baby. You did a good job man. I love it. Mackenzie is gonna love it because when making life a little easier for her family. When she's here at home she is normally on my hip or in her stroller and I'm pushing the IV pole behind us and now she can just Hop on. A gesture that means more than just extra help. Mackenzie's going to love it. Hey, I'm wanting to, to do this for her. Just I, now I truly know how much he loves her. Inviter Haley Bull, KFDM 6 News. Caden says he's not done yet. He's thinking of adding a seatbelt and changeable seat covers. He hopes it helps other children as well. He's going to do big things that in his lifetime. Big.